Welcome to another episode here on Your Digital Makeover. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can attach Apple Calendar to TickTick. So let's get to it. As you see here, I have TickTick opened up, and this is my today view. And a lot of times I like to have my Apple Calendar events feed over into my TickTick so I have one interface so I can see my events that I have coming up, and I can work my to-do list around those events. And as you see here, if I look at my calendar, I see tomorrow I have Adoration Home Care appointment that's coming by to check on my leg. In case any of y'all did not know, I broke my leg a couple months ago, and uh, so I'm in physical therapy for that. And I see I have a conflict here. I had moved this over from today over to tomorrow, but there's a conflict. Well, if I did not have my Apple Calendar attached to this uh, tick tick I would not know that and I would just be moving along and have to flip back and forth you know between two different uh, areas Apple Calendar and tick tick and be kind of confusing this way I get a better bird's eye view of what's going on and I can move this to a better time slot so that's why I kind of want to have my Apple Calendar attached to tick tick so to do so you just go up here to your uh, settings and you go over here to integrations and imports and you'll have a thing here called local calendar if you click edit there you'll have a little toggle switch and you just toggle that on to your local calendar so if this only works on Macs of course um, I'm not really sure if it works in PC world but on Macs our local calendar is what Apple calendar and so I flipped that on and then I can select certain things that I want hidden or things I want to show. Like, for instance, on my Apple Calendar, I have my Google um, Calendar events. Uh, but I have gone away from Google Calendar. I might actually put that on at some point in time because I might go back to uh, having certain events um, go on there as far as my photography and stuff like that if I ever start that back up again but for right now I have it turned off or hidden I also have Google Calendar's holidays hidden because I have the holidays showing for my local calendar which is Apple Calendar okay and then I also have anniversary showing and just the actual calendar showing and birthday showing on my local calendar for Apple okay and then all you do is hit confirm in order to uh, confirm what you have selected there. Once you do so, those will actually show up here in your calendar view on Tick Tick. So that's basically it for this episode. I did want to kind of go over that with y'all so you see how I have that all set up. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment right down below. And if you like this video and want to see more of these episodes in the near future, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And with that being said, I want to wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll catch you next episode. Take care.